They have abortion by pill now. Are you 486? I went to the doctor, Planned Parenthood, had blood tests and everything else done. They did a sonogram to check the state of my pregnancy. I'm at only four weeks one. I was at only four weeks one day when I went into the office on Thursday. But uh, yeah, I'm having an abortion right now. It's not that bad. It's not that scary. It's basically like a miscarriage. You two can have an abortion if you want one. It's okay. It's not shameful. It's not secret. It's not killing a child. I have a little boy. You guys have seen him on my video channel. He is my world. I want to stay alive and be his mom a lot longer. It's a human at conception. It's not a fish or an amphibian or anything else. And abortion is murder, plain and simple. Okay? This college textbook says the human has gill pouches. Biology, arms in camp, one of the worst ones there is, shows a five to six week embryo, but then it says by seven months, the fetus looks like a tiny normal baby, but it's not. It's not a baby at seven months. Hello? It's a human at conception. Every doctor knows that. 34% of babies born at five and a half months are going to survive. Maybe you heard about the lady that had surgery on her baby before it was born. They cut the mother open, cut the uterus open, and there's the baby holding the doctor's finger. Five months along. Let's see. The angel of the Lord said, Behold, thou art with fetus. No, I believe he said you are with child, didn't he? Hey, did you know it's a child before it's born? God knows that. Get more on the embryology lie on the book Icons of Evolution. Why do they keep this in the textbooks? That's the only way to justify abortion. They want you to think it's just a fish or an amphibian. You're not killing a child, you're killing a fish. That's why it's in the books, folks. Somebody wants to reduce the population of our planet. His name is Satan. We'll cover more on that on video number five about the effects of this evolution teaching. Uh, I live in Pensacola. <clears throat> you might have heard of my town. We've had two doctors killed that were doing abortions. Several clinics blown up or burned down. I didn't shoot any doctors and I didn't blow up any clinics, okay? And I don't think Jesus would do it that way either. He grew up under Roman control, you know? He didn't go around blowing up tanks and burning down bridges. But the doctors were murderers, plain and simple. When the first doctor got shot, I happened to be preaching in Fort Lauderdale. The next day I was flying home, anyway, and right in front of me on the airplane were two ladies, I'm sorry, two women, from NOW, National Organization for Wild Women. <laughs> they were upset, boy, they were going to go march around Pensacola, you know, protesting this doctor getting shot, Dr. Gunn. As we got off the plane, I noticed on their shirt they had in huge block letters, Choice Above All. So, being my mild-mannered self, I said, excuse me, ma'am, what does this mean, choice above all? She said, we believe a woman ought to have a right to choose. I said, choose what? She said, choose to have an abortion. It's her body, you know. Well, yes, ma'am, if she wants to abort her body, I suppose that's fine. <laughs> but it looks to me like she wants to abort somebody else's body. You know, when you consider half of them are male, it's not her body. Think about it. I said, ma'am, I'm kind of curious about this. I have three kids, one of each. I delivered one of my kids at home. I taught biology and anatomy. I used to raise hamsters. I'm kind of familiar with how this works. I said, tell me, why does the woman's right to choice stop at birth? Why don't we let the mother kill the baby after it's born? It'd be a lot safer and simpler. By the way, that's what Peter Singer wants. He's pushing for abortions up till the kid's 28 days old. You can decide if you want to keep it or not. Coming soon, folks. You watch for that one. I said, why don't we, I got an idea. Let's extend the abortion rights up until the kid's two years old. I know a lot of mothers with a two-year-old that have thought about it a time or two. <laughs> I won't ask you to raise your hand, but I know you're out there. Hey, let's extend abortion rights up until the kid is 18. I bet they'd behave a lot better. <laughs> All right, son, one more time, and I'm going to abort you. <laughs> hey, teacher, where's Johnny today? Oh, he didn't do his homework yesterday, so his mommy aborted him. Hey, grades would skyrocket, folks. Well, the ladies didn't want to talk about it anymore, I guess, because they left. And so I went and got my luggage, and I'm waiting talking to a cameraman. He showed up from Chicago to film this rally. I thought, now, wait a minute. There's going to be six people march around town. It's going to make worldwide news. You can get 100,000 people to line your streets against abortion, and it won't make the news. Have you noticed that? You know, the news media calls them pro-choice. And they call guys like me anti-abortion. Anti is a negative term. Pro is a positive term. It's called slanted journalism. They're going to say the child may be unwanted. Show me a kid that's 
There's a lot of kids that are unwanted today. My parents moved four times when I was growing up, but I found them every time. <laughs> now listen, there's probably 15 people in this room that have had an abortion. Now you listen carefully. God loves you and can forgive you, and it's not a problem. I mean, half the Bible's written by murderers. You don't have to go on the rest of your life, you know, trying to justify it. Just admit it, confess it, say, Lord, I'm sorry, forgive me, and go on and do something for God with your life, okay? Quit your whining and go serve God. They're going to say, the child may be a financial burden. <laughs> Show me a kid that's not. <laughs> Every kid's a financial burden. Come on. They're going to say, it might be from rape or incest. Well, then you kill the rapist, not the baby. I mentioned this in a seminar one time, and this medical doctor was there, and during question and answer, he said, Dr. Hoven, suppose a woman is raped and gets pregnant. Are you saying she should be required to carry that baby? I said, well, sir, that's a, that's a tough scenario, but let's suppose it happens. Let me ask you a question. Suppose she gets raped, she gets pregnant, she has the baby. Five years later, she's holding her five-year-old, and her mind flashes back to the horrible experience, and she kills the baby. Is it murder? He said, yeah. I said, okay, suppose she would have killed it five months after it was born. Would that have been murder? He said, yeah. I said, suppose she would have killed it five minutes after it was born. Would that have been murder? He got kind of quiet. He could see where I was going. I said, let me help you, sir. Yes. <laughs> I said, now, suppose she would have killed it five minutes before it was born. Folks, rape's horrible. So is murder. Let's start killing rapists and put an end to this thing, okay? Yeah. Hey, is it illegal in Wisconsin to shoot deer at night with spotlights? It is, isn't it? You have to give them a sporting chance, right? Why don't you pass a law up here that says we're going to give the baby a sporting chance. If a woman goes to have an abortion, the nurse there will have a jar of marbles to have a lottery to decide who dies. One marble for baby, one for mother, and one for father. And one for doctor. And one for governor. <laughs> now let's put several in there for the past president. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, question. If he's not alive, why is he growing? If he's not a human being, what kind of being is he anyway? This woman says, honk if you're pro-choice. Yeah, it's easy for her to be pro-choice. She's already been born. Did you know everybody that ever voted for abortion has already been born? You ever think about that? Let's let the babies that aren't born vote on it and see what they say. They're going to say, abortion's legal. It doesn't make it right. You know, 1936, the German Supreme Court declared Jews are not persons. That was the decision that opened the way for Jews to be murdered. After all, they're not a person, so you can't be guilty of murder when you kill one. I've been to Germany three times. I read lots of books about Hitler and the Holocaust just to keep my blood boiling. Hitler did what he did because of his belief in evolution. He thought he was helping out. He thought the Germans were the superior race. They deserved to rule the world. Hitler wanted to make the practice of Germany conform to the theory of evolution. Hitler offered to send the Jews to anybody who would take them. You know, Roosevelt refused to let the Jews come to America in 1938. They could have been saved, folks. Our president wouldn't let them come. Hitler's book, Mein Kampf, showed his evolutionary thinking, which he had probably since he was a boy. This guy says, evolutionary ideas lie at the basis of all that is worst in Mein Kampf. Hitler said it was the duty of the strong to trample the weak. He said, I have the right to exterminate an inferior race that breed like the vermin. Hitler said the single most, uh, singled out the idea of biological evolution as the most forceful weapon against traditional religion. See, traditional religion, like Christianity says, Nobody's better because of the color of their skin. Hitler didn't like that idea. He said, nature doesn't like the blending of a higher with a lower race. He kept talking about Aryan blood and lower peoples. Who's a lower people, Adolf? Well, I found Hitler's hit list. I read lots of books about Hitler. Hitler thought the blonde-haired, blue-eyed Norwegians were close to pure Aryan, the superior race. Did you follow all that? Blonde hair, blue-eyed... Norwegian, Vord and Stord, Italy, dog, yeah, sure, you betcha. Oofta, hey there, fella. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he thought the Germans 
were mostly Aryan. The Mediterraneans are slightly Aryan. The Slavics are half Aryan, half ape. Orientals are slightly ape. Black Africans, mostly ape. Jews, close to pure ape. Hitler killed the Jews because of his belief in evolution. He was trying to speed up the process to help humanity out, get rid of the inferiors. Hitler also hated black people. Uh, does anybody know where the Olympics were held in 1936? Germany. Does anybody know who won the most gold medals? Jesse Owens, the black American athlete. Hitler was so angry, he walked out of the stadium and said, it's not fair to make my men race against this animal. Hitler said, I think Christianity is the most fatal, seductive lie that ever existed. Because Christianity teaches, God hath made of one blood all nations of men to dwell on the earth. Now, if you think you are superior to somebody because of the color of your skin, number one, you're wrong. Number two, you're stupid. Number three, you're not right with God. And I preached the same message in Georgia and Alabama and Mississippi. And I would preach it to the KKK. You're wrong. I stood in the courtroom in Nuremberg where the trial was held. Those guys, 50 years ago, said, we did nothing illegal. We're just obeying orders. Yep, and they were found guilty of murder, weren't they? And just because our Supreme Court said the unborn child is not a human, not a person, that was the decision. 1973, Roe v. Wade. I don't care what the Supreme Court said. It's a person. It's a human at conception. But since that decision, we've now had 40 million babies killed by abortion in America. A billion worldwide. A thousand million. On September 11th, 2001, 3,000 Americans were killed by terrorists. Our government spent millions of dollars trying to hunt them down and kill them, right? You know what else happened on September 11th, 2001? 4,500 Americans were killed by abortion. Nobody said a word. It happened again on September 12th and September 13th and the 14th and the 15th, and every day since then it's going to happen again tomorrow. What are we doing, folks? Are we nuts? Margaret Sanger started a group called Planned Parenthood. The purpose of Planned Parenthood was to eliminate the inferior species. She thought the Jews, Orientals, and blacks were human weeds. We could spend hours on Margaret Sanger. Get our videotape uh, college class, CLC 103, I believe, where we cover this. Um, Par Planned Parenthood published a document in 1952 where they said, What is an abortion? Is it an operation? No, it's not an operation. Is it, uh, what is, plan what is ch child planning, they called it? How to plan your children? birth control. Is it an abortion? They said, definitely not. An abortion requires an operation. It kills the life of a baby after it has begun. Boy, Planned Parenthood changed their tune in the last 40 years, haven't they? The Bible says, these six things doth the Lord hate, hands that shed innocent blood. Cursed be he that taketh reward to shed innocent blood. And all the people shall say, Amen. Amen. They were designed for a purpose. Now, what is it? There are four great questions that every single religion in the world tries to answer. Even atheism, which is a religion, you have to believe there is no God. There's no way to know that. The four great questions every religion tries to answer. Who am I? Where did I come from? Why am I here? And where am I going when I die? The way you answer these questions depends upon how you view the world. There are basically only two ways to look at this world. One view says, you know, there's incredible design. There must be a designer. That's the creationist worldview. Other people look at the world and say, you know, nobody made it. It just made itself. They don't believe God created the heaven and the earth. They think a big bang made this world from nothing. They attempt to declare what they believe. Humanism is a religion. You have to believe there is no God. So why is this theory dangerous? Evolution, I am convinced after studying this now for 30-some years, evolution is absolutely the foundation for communism, Marxism, Nazism, socialism, racism. We'll get into some more of that in a minute. Number one, I think evolution is dangerous because it's bad science based on lies. Well, here's a textbook used in Minnesota, and it says that all of these ones in the circle here have been proven wrong, but they're still using them as evidence for evolution. They're lying to the kids. And they're calling, used to call modern man homo sapien. Today they're t calling us homo sapien sapien. Wow, what does that mean? Well, sapien means wise. So today we're the wise, wise man. That's interesting. You know, the Bible says, professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. Now, if you believe your ancestors were a monkey, you're a fool. 